All right. So now today's lion wisdom quote is this. You were born to succeed. You figure out how to fail. See, life works on its own. Everything, think about nature. Everything in nature just happens in a natural flow and there's no agenda, there's no plan, there's no, it's not rushing, but everything happens right on time. See, just like how in nature things happen right on time when it's a natural flow. When we're in our natural flow, we get to do whatever we need to do when we need to do it always. You see, when we're in our natural flow, we know we're in our flow by how we feel. So if we're stressing about something, that actually means that we're going against the flow. We're born to succeed, we figure out how to fail. Figuring out how to fail means overthinking things. One thing we can do is that we can understand that when we start overthinking things, we know it by the pressure of stress. Stress is life's natural response to us doing something we're not supposed to be doing. If something stresses you out or the idea of something stresses you out, that's your built-in internal guidance system telling you that maybe you should stop a little bit. Maybe you should take a break. I was speaking with someone and they were talking about how, hey, I want to go on vacation, but I work so much. I have so many hours. I don't have the time to do it. And I'm like, how's your happiness level while working? And they're like, uh, it's, it's okay. I'm just, I'm stressed all the time. See, how does going on a vacation, how does that sound? That sounds absolutely amazing. He, he goes on a vacation. He comes back home and it turns out that everything about his job that he didn't think it, it can get done or he had to do himself, his team stepped up and took everything just worked out perfectly. Because when we prioritize our state of being, when we prioritize our well-being, life just happens. The reason why we get stressed out or we overthink things is one word and one word only. Fear. Fear. False evidence appearing real. There was a little boy that would walk to school every day. And upon walking to school, one of his new, one of his new neighbors had a huge dog, like a Rottweiler. As he was walking, he saw the Rottweiler. The, wall, the Rottweiler was like barking at him. So the boy runs away because he's scared of the big dog. So he ends up walking a mile, an extra mile outside of the neighborhood to get to school. So this kid's walking an extra mile every day. And then he's like, you know what? Why am I so scared of this Rottweiler? It's just a dog. I'm going to walk the short way. I'm going to walk past the Rottweiler, but I'm going to walk the short way because it's not going to hurt me. He starts walking. The dog is huge, probably like a hundred some pounds. The boy gets scared. He goes away, walks a long way. He comes again. He's like, today's the day. I'm gonna walk past the dog. I'm not gonna be scared. He sees the dog. He crumbles in fear again. He decides to himself, I'm gonna go to my basement and I'm gonna get a baseball bat. And if that dog tries to bite me or anything, I'm gonna whack it upside his head. So now he's walking confidently with his baseball bat, walking past his Rottweiler. And it turns out that the Rottweiler chain broke off as he tried to chase him. So the Rottweiler chases the boy and the boy stands there with a babe about to hit him. And then a Rottweiler goes to bite the boy and it turns out the dog didn't have teeth. It was a toothless dog. For a month, this boy took an extra mile to go to school for a dog that didn't have teeth because he was scared. Now, I tell you this story to let you know that the things you fear, they don't have teeth. They can't hurt you. The idea of what they will do to us is 20, I'm sorry, 30 times worse than the actual event itself. Because a lot of times we take onto future events and we project past events onto this. I've already done that before. I've already tried that and then it failed. So why should I do it this time? See, the way life is, is that if you feel good about something, if you feel in alignment with something, Follow your heart and trust that if you go after it and it doesn't work out, God will be there to pick you up. See? Lion, lion stands for love influences others naturally. Love influences others naturally. When we're living a loving state, we're very influential. The first thing I always say, a lion is a lover. Then I say a lion is a leader, a lion is a giver. And for today, a lion doesn't overthink. 
<laughs> a lion does not overthink. So if you find yourself in life stressing about things, worrying about things, just know that you're actually doing it the hard way. And you can do it the hard way all you want, but you're just like that boy walking around that dog that you could just walk right through, go the short way. You see? Mm -hmm.